Well, it's no mystery why Steinway & Sons and other high-end piano companies are seeking more opportunities in China. While the piano's popularity seems to be declining in the West, Chinese parents are willing to spend big on luxury instruments for their children. Xiao Rasha explains. Like tens of millions of Chinese mothers, Hou Jian tries to give her child the best she can afford. When her six-year-old son decided to learn piano, she bought him a Steinway. Many enthusiasts consider this brand to be the finest, and the price tag shows it. All of his friends and classmates who learn piano chose Steinway. They said that the quality is the best, so I bought it for my son, and the price is all right. Steinway entered the Chinese market in 1999. More than 90% of the company's sales were to music conservatories and concert halls in the early years. But today, its pianos are reaching many Chinese homes. Steinway is like the flurry of the piano industry. I bought one that cost over 200,000 yuan. I want my child to have the best experience in art and music while learning the piano. I think a Steinway piano can make that happen. We've been selling Steinway pianos for more than three years. They appreciate 10% in value each year on average. More people buy the high-end ones. The most expensive one in our store is over 1 million yuan. Chinese parents are willing to invest in their children. They don't hesitate to pay for expensive piano classes. And other than Steinway, they also buy other high-end piano brands. We bought her a Baldwin piano. It cost us 35,000 yuan. It's not Steinway, but it's also one of the world's most prestigious piano brands. Now she's still a beginner. When she enters her next phase, we'll definitely buy her a more expensive one that we can afford. Statistics show that the piano playing has waned in the West. And many piano stores have closed in recent years. But these high-end piano brands have found new opportunities in China and his 40 million children. Xiao Ruxue, CCTV, Zhengzhou, Henan Province.